it my belief that in order to avoid phenomen phenomenon of stagflation, that the executive branch needs to provide an incentive to develop import replacing policies. That is policies that balance imports with production. Policies that balance imports with production are not limited to the following. CPN should take immediate steps to reduce interest rates by placing government bonds at below rates to force down the rates. Government needs to embark on massive critical infrastructure projects funded by these bonds or by private-public partnership. Government needs to embark on quick, large-scale concession, not selling. I quote, not selling and commercialization of assets such as the refinery, roads and railways, airports, seaports, and other government control industries. Government has no business in business. So therefore, there is urgent need to reflate the economy by releasing money for both recruitment and capital projects. Make necessary plans to help states pay the outstanding salaries of workers. It is a known fact that this type of recession is too bad because the key sectors, such as services and manufacturing, are declining rapidly. The federal government must do all it can to provide the enabling environment by fixing power and providing cheap loans to the real sector. The Central Bank of Nigeria must quickly adjust the monetary policy rate, otherwise known as the handling downwards, for the manufacturer to access loan easier. On the physical term, there should be no more increment of tax for the common man. Government should tax the upper class by introducing luxury tax and discourage imports of same products to conserve forests. The local contractors must be paid and the government must be willing to award new contracts for rural infrastructure in order to resuscitate rural economies to create markets for farm produce and manufactured goods. Paying foreign contractors only put pressure on the foreign exchange. Mr. President, it may equally interest you to know that United Kingdom and Israel are the two nations not to have experienced economic recession. The simple strategy adopted by them was emphasis on agriculture. This has assisted the two nations to put food on their people's table and this has equally helped the economic growth of the United Kingdom and Israel. Nigeria, as a nation, must adopt such strategies to come out of this present economy predicament. Thank you for giving.